guy who gets fired from his fast food job. And he gets broken up about it because he really needed the money. And he, uh, he felt like he was doing a good job. So he goes to a friend and he starts talking to her about, um, you know, his situation. And she feels sorry for him and she goes, you know what, I work at the zoo downtown. And um, we might have a position opening up. I'm going to put a good word in for you. Um, so just show up on this date and we'll see what happens. And he shows up and he gets the job. So uh, he starts to really get into it. And he's doing a good job. He's, uh, he's good with the animals. He, um, he has a way with like the tours. Um, he starts to get comfortable, and that's when things start to go south, because as he gets comfortable, uh, he, he starts to slack off, he starts to do things wrong. And one day, he falls asleep at his post, and his arm hits this button, and it releases all of the rhinos out of their exhibit, and they go on a rampage downtown, and several people die. <laughs> I'm glad you think that's funny. <laughs> that, was, that was the joke, guys. Several people are dead now. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess, okay, I don't think you guys, yeah, that went a little over your heads. I'll give something, um, I'll do something else, I'll do something else. Um, women can't drive. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not fair. I can't drive. <laughs> Never been allowed to operate a motor vehicle nor have a license. Every accident I have ever been in has been 100% my fault, unless you ask the insurance company, in which case those guys were texting. <laughs> <laughs> um, but a good example of this is back when we were starting to move in, I had my car parked in this no park zone that was close to my dorm so I could unload stuff into my dorm in and out, right? Well, I forget it's in a no park zone until about 12 o'clock at night when I'm laid down about to go to sleep and I'm like, shit. <laughs> So I get up, I put on like more pajamas, and I go downstairs, and um, I go to start the car, and I put my key in the ignition, and I turn it, and nothing happens. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'll try turning it again. And this time, the car takes my key, and it won't give it back, Then the brakes lock up, the steering's locked, and the nothing's working, and I'm just sitting there like, no, 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 no. It's 12 o'clock at night, and in five hours, the police are going to come through here. And uh, if any one of you have ever been lucky enough not to get a ticket, here's how this works. Fuck you, they do not care. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does not matter if you are a woman, a man, black, white, yellow, green, Asian, Mexican, enabled, disabled, feminist, misandrist. No, they don't give a shit. There is no excuse. So I'm just like, oh no, 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 what do I do? Do I get a note and just put, I'm sorry, I'm a fucking moron who doesn't know how to operate a basic vehicle? No, they won't even care. So I'm in this group chat, so I go and check the group chat real quickly like, shit guys, what do you guys know about cars? I need something ASAP, my car won't start. I take a little video of everything that's happening and I post it up and this one guy in this group chat goes, you know what, I'm gonna head on over there and I'm gonna see what I can do for your car. And I'm like, oh no man, you don't have to do that. Cause it's, at this point, it's like one o'clock in the morning. He's about 30 minutes away, but he actually does do the drive. And he comes over and um, I'm standing outside the car with my little jumper cables around my neck because I can't drive and I can't fix a car, but God damn, can I jump one? <laughs> That's my skill. That's my special skill. So I'm standing there with my jumper cables like, all right, what are we gonna do? And he's like, well, let me just take a look at it. So he goes inside. Um, he's in there for about two seconds, and he starts it, just like that. And I'm just standing there, watching the car start up by the guy who just drove 30 minutes to go fix my car, and I'm looking down at my jumper cables like, maybe there's a tall tree around here somewhere. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not open up to this. So, um, he comes out, and I ask him what was wrong, and he looks at me and he goes, um, you had it in reverse. Oh. <gasps> I had a man drive 20 miles at one o'clock in the morning to put my car in park. <laughs> and I tell him, I tell him, you better not put this on the group chat. You better tell him this was some fucking miracle that you saved my car. That I would have to go into a mechanic and spend thousands of dollars and you're some genius. I'll give you that, just don't tell them. I find it on the group chat next day. <laughs> No, I love these guys. These, these are loyal friends. These are, these are my friends from Tabletop. And for those of you who have a life, Tabletop is um, role-playing games similar to board games. Um, a good famous one is D&D. &D. Yes. Woo! Yeah. There we go. So these are my Tabletop.
tabletop crew, and these bo like these people, anyone who has been in tabletop knows that these people become your family. If you have a contacts list that goes by how many times you talk to somebody, you're gonna see these people slowly start to overtake your family and friends. Like these are these are your people now. Um, like the other night, I was um, I was walking between um, buildings because I needed to go somewhere. And I was in my pajamas, as I seem to be in a lot of these. <laughs> um, and it, it's college, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> walk to, to, get to class, it's just it's not a big deal. <laughs> but apparently to someone, it is a big deal. Um, a guy from high school who, um, let's just say his opinions of me are less than most garbage. I just, yeah, so he sees me on the street walking between classes in my pajamas, and he's with these three other boys all of them are wearing camo, and they're all just the, they're the epitome of rednecks. And they're following me, and they're making these little comments like, um, look at her butt, oh my god, I can't believe she's wearing that. They start making more and more sexual comments, and I get a little scared. So I run off into a building, and I call my friends on the group chat. And I say, hey guys, I'm a little worried. I don't think these guys are going to hurt me, but I'm just a little scared. Can somebody help me get back to my dorm? Next thing I know, this truck comes around the bend with six guys in it, all in black hoods. One of them's carrying a baseball bat, and the door is thrown open by my friend Madeline, and she yells, get in. <laughs> and that is why you don't fuck with tabletop people. <laughs> uh, you think his, his constitution, do you know what it is? It is 3d6s plus 10. He made it like that motherfucker. You don't mess with him. Yeah, his intimidation score, oof, you don't even want to see it. There are some universal truths um, in this world. Um, we're all gonna die one day. Uh, we all have to pay taxes. If you're driving down a road that's too small to accompany two cars, two cars will inevitably come from opposite directions at that exact moment. <laughs> and there is one universal truth that I have found that is very exclusive to our generation. And that is that the mitochondria is... Power. Sorry. She got trampled by rhinos the other day downtown. <laughs> 